now dear student we are going to discuss question number 5.19 and in this question it is given to you a shell of mass 0.02 kilogram is fired by a gun of mass 100 kilogram if the muzzle speed of a shell is 80 meter per second what is the recoil speed of a gun clear so now concentrate let's suppose if i'm saying let's suppose uh, this is a gun now you can say sir this gun yes you have this much amount of this is gun clear so let's suppose this is gun clear this is gun clear and let's suppose we are firing a shell from this gun let's suppose this is a shell that i am firing and mass of this shell is given to you 0 0.020 kg clear everyone okay it is fired by a gun of mass we can say capital m mass this is given to you 100 kilogram fine if speed of a shell is 80 meter per second so we can see its speed is given 80 meter per second now we have to find what is recoil speed of a gun clear actually what we understand by muzzle speed muzzle speed means we can say this is velocity of a shell with respect to gun clear always keep in mind velocity of gun with respect to uh, velocity of a shell with respect to gun clear so now you can actually practically observe let's suppose we are firing from this side definitely if ball is actually uh, if if this we can say uh, shell if shell is going in a right direction definitely because according to newton's third law we know that every action has an opposite reaction so if we are assuming this as action definitely we have a reaction also clear it means we can say that suppose here we have a spring and from this spring a force is exerted on this shell clear so definitely if we are assuming this as action a reaction will act in an opposite direction so logically i am taking that let's suppose velocity of a gun or recoil speed of a gun in this direction that is v clear so now we have to find what is recoil speed of a gun so initially let's suppose i am assuming this shell is inside this gun clear and i am assuming this shell and this gun as is one system and at that time initially both are at rest so i can say what is initial momentum i can say capital m plus small m and we can say both are at rest clear so this is value of initial momentum now we can see in horizontal direction there is no external force is acting what i am saying to you in an horizontal direction there is no external force is acting it means i can apply here conservation of linear momentum so now we can say this is initial momentum now how can i write final momentum i can say this is equal to mv and i can say this is equal to m and this is time of minus v clear let's suppose this is small v clear now from here you can say i can write like this capital mv this should be equal to m times of v clear so now we can say capital mv equal to small m times of v so capital m is given this is 100 kilogram this is v clear small m small m is given 0 0.020 and velocity v this is given to you 80 clear this value we have 80 clear so from here we can say value v this is given by 0 0.020 into 80 by 100 clear from here we can say this is cancelled out so uh, from we can write like this value of v 20 by we can say this is 1000 into 8 by we can say 10 we can say this one is cancelled out clear so from here you can see v this is given by 16 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter per second now you can say sir this is a very small amount of uh, recoil velocity yes why this is happening because shell is having a very less mass so its velocity is very high but gun is having a very large mass clear so if mass is more definitely the velocity that is imparted it will be very less clear to everyone so my dear student this is the recoil speed of a gun clear so this is all about this question